Um, hello again with Six Head Productions. We just walked out of the Ruby panel that they just did this uh, Friday, uh, July 1st. Uh, they're still doing Q&A in there, but they're, it's not like Q&A they've done in the past few years. They're reading off cards that were submitted weeks ago, so we figured we probably weren't going to get any more information than what we got today. First off, we got a little bit of a sneak peek, more of the English dub for Ice Queendom. Uh, still no voice acting announcements, however, Christopher Wakecamp himself last night confirmed that he is taking over for Roman Torchwick, uh, taking the mantle from the late Billy Kemets who passed away earlier uh, in June, who was initially cast for Roman, which is probably why uh, the dub has been taking this long to get out compared to, you know, in the past. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, next up, we got merch, we got new shirts, we got new uh, sweaters, new hats, uh, new little figurines. I'm not really a merch guy, that's Cal's area, so she'll put up a video about that, I'm sure. Uh, we get all the information on that, but that's really all I can give you, because I really don't have much of an opinion one way or the other about the merch. Uh, next up, Aerofell, I believe, was next. We got we had the Ruby Aerofell. We got a new trailer that showed off some more game mechanics. Um, we got uh, we see we got more animated clips, so uh, that were like show quality. So clearly they were putting some of their animation in that. Uh, the gameplay looked pretty decent. It looks like you can switch between the four girls instead of just pick one or the other, which is kind of cool. Uh, they showed us that that Smite crossover again. Uh, we saw a little bit of that. Uh, they pimped out the, Grim, the Ruby Grimm campaign, the D&D thing they're doing, they're doing a panel on that. And then finally, at long last, we got some Volume 9 stuff. Now again, they showed the trailer that they showed last night, but we also got a little bit of a clip. Uh, we now know that the mouse can talk, and the mouse is voiced by Lucy Christian, who apparently they're just going to keep recasting until they find a role that sticks with her. Um, but, uh, you know, this one actually sounds the most like Lucy, so I'm not complaining too much. Uh, the clip we saw was pretty good. Uh, the animation looked actually really beautiful, I thought. Uh, and the Little, which is the name of the mouse, uh, looks adorable. Uh, and the world they're in is called The Ever After. That has been released on the website, so there's a name of that. And lastly, we found out the reason why Volume 9 has been taking so long and why it is going to be well, not until 2023. There is a featured film in the works, the Ruby and Justice League crossover. Now, don't worry, you don't need to read that Ruby Justice League crossover in the comics that they did a while back. You don't need to know that. This is going to be an entirely new story, but they are doing a movie, uh, Ruby with the Justice League, and that is why it is taking so long. So, suffice to say, I'm excited. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up in the future, whether it'll be good or not. You know, we'll, we'll obviously get to that, but... Uh, there was a decent amount of information given, and I am pretty content with the state of things at the moment. Uh, and I, that's it. Do you have anything else? I think that's about it. I think that's about um, it. So, Matt, Matt Bow is in charge of yeah. the game. Yes, pretty much. Uh, so Aerofell is going to be uh, demoed on the show floor tomorrow. I will try to see if I can get some gameplay of that. Um, and if I do, I'll put up some other video. But for now, that is about it. Let me know what you think of all this news in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.